Welcome back to Spinning the Past. So today I'm going to talk about dizzies. Very dizzy. So um, this you will see, it's like a flat, this is actually a concave side. It has different holes in it. We're going to talk about why they have different holes. This is ceramic. This is also a diz. And this is just something that came off of an old spice thing and I want to show you this because if if you don't have one of these you can start out with using one of these. So when we prepare um we prepare our fiber for spinning and let's say we want to make it a a worsted or a semi worsted type of um final yarn we have to prepare it so that all the fibers are aligned straight. And if we use these mini combs, these are mini combs. If I use these mini combs, and there's other types of hand combs like this, not the cards, not the hand cards, but the combs, you can see it, right? Then this is what I would use a diz off of. I already prepared a little bit of this. I went through this. And I want to show you this little bit right here is not like the other. So this bit is the smaller, the shorter, the little neps and noils. You can see these little, okay, these are things we don't want in a worsted yarn. Worsted yarn should be all parallel fibers about the same length. You can say, well, these, these are all about the same length. That is true. So this is what we're going to use this on. Remember, we're trying to do a preparation for worsted. Um, just, a, um, just a little note about making worsted. So you can see this is pretty short. And I wouldn't necessarily expect to make a final product that is a worsted yarn from something this short. Really, the best yarns are... Uh, fibers are about that long. So about three and a half inches or longer, really. So you need something long. See, you need something long. But just for the purposes for this video, we're going to practice on this. So you can get a number of kits and they may, they come, they can come with this. They, you can just get the dis separate or you can also use this. So the purpose of having a diz is I want to draw out the fibers to be either that diameter or that diameter or that diameter. So I choose which diameter. So this will tell me I have this many fibers. This has fewer fibers. And this has somewhere in between fiber. No. You can see on this, this will be a lot of fibers. This will be less fibers. This would be less, and this would be just really, really tiny. So why do I want the difference in fiber width? Because that'll tell the final yarn. The diameter of your final yarn is how many bits of this fiber you will spin at one time that get into the fiber twist. So if I take only this amount, I get that amount. If I take a lot more, you can see it becomes thicker. So I take my diz, and let's start out with this. Let's say you, you just have this. Um, I have a uh, crochet hook, and I'm gonna just hook this, and I'm gonna pull it through. Look, look, this side and that side, this side versus that side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull and pull and pull and pull, okay, and I'm gonna just stop. So we have the final product will be a fiber prep this. So when it gets to the spinning wheel, all the fibers are aligned, they should be all the same length, and I can immediately put twist in it. This, if you have a lot of spinning to do, it, and you really want it consistent, then having a diz will already do a lot of the work for you. So that'll be my final yarn. So again, I made that just out of a simple topper. So you could do that right now. Let us try this. I'm gonna do this, this middle. 
grab my fiber and I pull it through. So it's kind of a tug of war. You, you want it, the fiber to go through, but you don't want too little fiber. You want the fiber to be the diameter of that hole. So you're pulling just a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit at a time, teeny tiny bit, teeny tiny bit. And I'm gonna just stop it because I wanna show you what we end up with. Again, here we go. So I could go to the spinning wheel put my twist in and that is the diameter of the singles. I didn't put enough twist in it, but if we put a twist in it, we get about a diameter of that for the final. Now let's use this. This comes with this. So if it comes with it, then I can put the fiber in here on this side. Remember the concave is facing facing your um, combs. So I can pull it through. And again, I'm just going to pull and pull and pull. I'm going to kind of pull against it. See? But I, and this should keep down how many fibers come through that hole. Okay, so here we go. So this, we've got this many fibers. See? It's a, it's a pretty um, chunky here is the diameter of the singles for this. I'm just going to put enough, and that'll be about the diameter of the finished. So let's use a finer one. Let's use this one. This is pretty fun. So I grab in here, pull it through. So this tool just helps you. It's kind of like a third hand, and it's going to help you pull through that amount of fibers. Okay, so let's just take that out. So we have this. You can, so it kind of like it's a pre-drafting. So let me get this twisted. It needs a lot more twist because it's finer. So I'm just put some artificial twist in it. There's my singles. And then there would be one of my ply. So there we go. That would be kind of like the final yarn. So there are different diameters. This, uh, the Diz is a useful tool, especially if you want to spin worsted or semi-worsted. You can start out with something very simple like this. Whatever the hole size is, that will be the diameter of your, uh, of the fiber that goes through, that goes through that. Uh, I told you that's that has many. If you want a fatter yarn there, if you want a narrower yarn there, if you want a really kind of a thread, then that. Uh, they come in wood, they come in ceramic, they come in all kinds of different me metal I've seen. Um, come in all kinds of different. Uh, these are great to get. Just a really little simple thing. You can get it at a lot of fiber events. Fiber events are opening up, starting up in September and October are big fiber arts festivals. So when you're at your next festival, you may wanna to try to give, get a Diz and add it to your fiber arts collection. And I wish you happy spinning and I will catch you next time on Spinning the Past.